Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add captions to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get more views on your videos and get your videos discovered on YouTube, then you should download this free Video SEO Explained ebook linked in the description below and in the card in the top right hand corner of this video. You can also find it at growonyoutube.com forward slash guide. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. And recently I had to learn how to add captions to my videos because I wanted to add captions to my Facebook ad for my book, uh, A Gamer's Guide to Greatness. And I thought I'd make a video on it and show you guys how to do it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get the hard coded captions that I got that stay on the video, as well as how to get closed captions done so that you can upload those to a site like YouTube and what have you. So here we are in our project. Now, the first thing I want to give you is a, some troubleshooting advice because sometimes your captions just will not show up and if that happens then generally what you want to do is close the project and open it up again and that should basically fix that problem and have your captions show up on the video now when it comes to closed captions you may just not see that at all so i just don't worry about that but let's get into it how do you add a caption so there's a few ways well there's two ways not a few um two ways as far as i know you can either go to file go to new and then go to captions or you can go to projects come down here go to new item and then go to captions now i believe this is probably the easiest way to do it so we'll go there and then there are a few different options you may be thinking what do these options mean because that's definitely what i thought when i tried to do this now i would suggest if you want closed captions you go for cea 608 if you want the captions where they're hard coded onto the video like this, then you want open captions. Now, CEA 708 is apparently the updated version of this uh, this caption thing here. But when I tried to use this 708 version, when I uploaded the caption to YouTube after it had a lot of artifacts that I would have to delete in order to make the captions clean and make them actually work. For example, like the color code, like, you know, hashtag this number, blah, blah, blah. You'd have to delete that and uh that sort of thing so I, I wouldn't suggest going for that i suggest just going for 608 as that gave me a much better result or go for the open caption so we're going to show you how to do open captions first off you just want to click that and then i wouldn't mess around with any of this as this automatically syncs to your your sequence settings and then you want to go to okay then you have your captions over here and the way you do this let's actually let's move this because this is our like test layer let's bring these captions down here and then you just want to place that over your video and double click on that and you'll be able to bring your caption up and then you can start seeing what your captions look like so let's turn off these captions that we already have let's turn on these captions which you won't be able to see because it's not actually across the whole video but we can easily change that by doing that and then here you go you got your captions i'm not going to go through the whole thing and make 50 different you know titles but let's quickly do that and then i'll show you you know how to easily edit these captions real quick now there are two ways you can go about it you can use the time code down here you can like particularly go to each line of dialogue and then copy the time code at which the captions start and then put that in and when they stop and put that out and you can do that that way or a much easier smooth way to do it is to actually just scroll in on the timeline down here and then you can actually you can actually just drag this and make this go exactly where you want it to go now unfortunately the caption that started over here is not on here so here we go we need to bring that bring that back and we'll put that at like 25 so we can actually see it so you can you know lengthen this out you can move these i don't know if you can move them over each other oh you can i just found that out now that's that's pretty cool so this is an easy way to edit to make sure that everything's in sync with what you're actually saying in the video 
and that's how you basically deal with those captions now when you want to export it you go to file you go to export i do have a video on the best exporting settings for youtube so i highly suggest you check that out and then you basically i think you usually start in video settings when you're going to export but you want to come over to captions and when you're doing open captions you want to burn the captions into the video like this and then you want to queue or export and that's you know that that will do the job bob's your uncle everything will be done here don't actually see the captions in this video there you go so there are captions there good stuff you do want to check it out because sometimes adobe premiere pro doesn't you know it doesn't work out how it's supposed to work as i said there may be some troubleshooting you might have to deal with so there we are we we just learned how to do open captions let me show you how to do closed captions so let's delete that let's go to let's do it via file now let's go to file let's go to new captions and then for closed captions, we'll go CEA 608, go to OK. And then you just want to drag that into your footage. And same thing as before, double click, do your captions. Bob's your uncle. And then here we are. Oh, ooh, didn't mean to do that. Let's put that back. Let's drag this out. There we are. We can see our cat. Well, we can't see our captions. This is supposed to allow us to see our captions, but that doesn't really work. Um, so you kind of just got to assume <laughs> where things are going to go. You you can just watch the video and make sure that you're doing everything right and then check it after, I guess. That seems to be the way that will be the best way to work. Now, sometimes the closed caption does appear on the screen because I did try to film this video before, but then it didn't show up all the dialogue boxes as well. So now I've had to do it again. But in that, in that filming of the video, the closed captions did actually show up on the screen but when i first tested it it didn't so i i don't know whether that's something that's supposed to happen or not supposed to happen but i would assume that it's not going to happen and you'll kind of have to just eyeball it and and not guess because you can clearly see where it's going to start and end so you can just do that and then you know keep it moving but how do you export these closed captions because obviously you're not hard coding onto the video now what you need to do is go to export export media and then when you go to captions instead of burn captions into video you want to go to create sidecar file and here on file format you want to scroll down and go to srt now srt is the subtitle format which is preferable by youtube and by video players such as vlc and that sort of stuff so i'd go i'd go with srt over most other formats but if you need another format you know you can look over here and and pick the format that that you're you need for your particular platform and then you want to go to queue or export and then I will show you how to do this or how to upload it on YouTube to actually get your captions all working. So let's get over to that. So here we are. Uh, this is the actual video that I tested out earlier. And here's the, the caption that I enabled. And as you can see, I can turn it off and I can turn it on. I can be like, no captions. Or I can be like, yes, yes, captions. Yes, please. So here we are on the captions page. In order to get to here from your video, you can go to edit video or I believe you can go to, is this, is that a playlist thing? Oh, that's the playlist thing. So go to edit video. I think you can also do it from, you might be able to do it from right inside the, um, the video player, but usually I just go to, you know, subtitle CC and then that will take you to this page where you can actually add your subtitles and you can add your closed captions and that sort of stuff. And then click on add new subtitles, click the language that you're uploading. I'm gonna discard the published subtitles to add my new ones, but you won't have to deal with that. And then you wanna to go to upload file. And this will bring up your, um, browser when you go to choose file you want to choose subtitles file then just scroll to your subtitle file you'll have srt at the end so you know it'll, it will be next to your video as well so then we just want to open that up and upload and then we're done like the captions are uploaded 
you can still edit using YouTube and, you know, kind of make sure that everything's cool and everything's in the right place. But there you go. That's how you use captions in Adobe Premiere Pro. That's how you set up your closed captions for YouTube using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you've got any questions or tutorials that you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. If you want to upgrade your editing and help out the channel, then go to growonyoutube.com forward slash red giant now. Red Giant make a bunch of plugins that make complicated editing techniques easier. The titles and transitions that you've just seen were created using Red Giant Universe. Red Giant plugins like Universe and the Magic Bullet Color Suite help me save time and allow me to create professional looking content for you guys. The best thing is that you can try their plugins out for free. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Red Giant to try those plugins out for free now. If you decide that you like their plugins after trying them out for a bit, you can use the code JCARTARAY for 10% off your purchase. Get your free trial of any of these awesome plugins now and make your editing life easier at growonyoutube.com forward slash red giant. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this I share.